Previously on Fringe. This is like a bit trip game or something with the help. Uh, mm. So this one's made by a whole studio. So An you know this one. one. This one is a lot more professional than the other two we've seen I mean, so far, right? Look at it. You can actually see what's happening. Yeah. And there's like a, a union revolt. Mm-hmm. A military blockade. Is this Gundam? This is sounding suspiciously like Gundam. Yeah. <laughs> Um. We're spaceships. The blockade is now in full effect. Government officials say the colony cannot expect to survive without its regular supply. I wish that was an editing thing and that would just die. Flynn's refusal to surrender. <laughs> <laughs> the little typing no thing at the bottom to tell you I'm what what it is. Be... I'm I'm sick of it. In the future, we will still have typewriter noises, and no one will know what that sound How long means. Do you think it will last? I don't know. We should be out there chasing pirates, not keeping an eye on disgruntled miners. Sir, how long do you think the market for Second Life will stay up? Till 2340. Mm. Tactical display. But how long can we just sell sex swing oh, animations for? How long, sir? Yeah, Until 2345. Okay. Get Admiral Yasuko on the line. Hi. What's up? What do you have to report? The three police vessels assigned to the colony have launched and are heading toward us. I've lost it's a lot of Second Life bucks today. Day. I could use some help. I'm expecting just flying penises <laughs> to go in the background at any time. Or have the ships been hijacked? None. They cannot be allowed to escape. Move to intercept the enemy and force them back to the surface. I love that intense face. Yeah. You know, completely blank, but leaning forward. Yes, mm. ma'am. We're really going to do it? You just remember your combat simulations, Commander. Yes, but surely those miners can't be crazy enough to start a war. I hope you were right. Sir, don't you think this kind of presentation of the future has been done a lot and doesn't need to be done anymore, sir? Don't you think it's a little no. boring? No. I'm sorry, but I'm just here to shoot miners. Sir, do we belong to a thing called the... Federation? I really hope we don't. If we do, I'm just gonna kill myself right now, sir. I honestly hope not. I know Wait, these are adults! Wait a minute! War. I just believe that my people should be given better equipment and safer working conditions. And mustache so trimmers, sure. help! I am in dire need! It's well, floating off my face! Ones. Just a second. They're mustache gonna is just gonna keep on growing and go down his throat, and there's a disco ball on spacesuits in the future! This man has tiny chicken arms! <laughs> In space, everyone can hear your go-karts. <laughs> Target the enemy weapons only. We want to avoid as many casualties as we can. Lock S foils in attack position. Okay, Captain. Beep boop beep. Turn on your targeting computer. Excuse me, can you speak up? Your voice is really tinny. Also, his tongue was blue. Best course to attend to me. I only hope they get the signal in time. Open fire. Nope. Sir, I'm not going to, just so I can slightly change the presentation of the show. So, uh, that's when we use our graphical capabilities to make this really nimble and exciting fight. With, uh, with tactics and dynamic lighting. And mostly just noodle armed men. <laughs> Look at how small his arms are! He's just so. I don't know. I think it's kind of impressive that Star Wars modeled their space fights after World War II dogfights, mm -hmm. and no one has done anything different since. Yeah. <laughs> Star Wars put a stranglehold on creativity. Oh yeah, so when we were trying to, you know, come up with ideas for what these ships looks like, uh, we decided that the cannons should be cylinders. <laughs> like, the, uh, the, uh, the bridge there is just a weird mix of, uh, more modern Star Trek and Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. Oh no. Now they're pissed. The Aaron Guard's taking heavy fire. 
Take out the enemy weapons. And also a little bit of Super Star Destroyer. Yeah. They're insane. Sir, is there anything original in this show? Return to base. If I power to jump drive. Well, I mean, the exact mix of laziness and animation <laughs> and lack of inspiration is something unique. I suppose so. The, the title. There's nothing else called Chronicles of Humanity, I'm willing to bet. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, thank God I'm out of that ship. In space, no one will care about this. We did it! We won! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I have one very excited arm. <laughs> Everyone else, stone face. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, so all five of us staged uh, this fight. I'm sneaking. I'm sneaking. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, he fell. Did you see that amazing? Did you see that? Man, it's so realistic. It's quite real. Next Today, time, maybe things happen. Came to an abrupt end no, the it's like a rule the that the colony was you, you can't by the blast. you can't have things it's happen. Known if there are any survivors, relief transports are on their way and should arrive within the next. So wait, where does that leave episode two? You just you just blew up half of everyone. Well, that was pretty epic. I have to say, thank you, Damien Valentine. Was that really the entire series? This like sub ten minute short? No, that's it's all the idea you had. Multiple episodes. Okay, what's episode two? A different workers' revolt? <laughs> I don't know. It's just episode after episode of crushing workers' revolts. Was was there a bomb shelter underneath? Uh, mm. Thank you, Kim Gently, for encouragement. You did the opposite of what you should have done. <laughs> Can someone get credit for discouragement? N no, Thank you, movie no, star. Don't. Listen, there's so many sci-fi things that are just this. Please, no, don't. Boy. We broke the code of the transmission. I guess so. It was just lorem ipsum, <laughs> but with spaceships. <laughs> That's what this was! Yeah. It was the placeholder it's... text of sci-fi. It's just lorem ipsum in, like, the Star Trek font. <laughs> Maybe it switches between Star Trek and Star Wars and, like, Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. <sighs> I'm I'm sorry their animation software didn't have the uh, technology needed to make the pits on Edward James almost his face. 